And the death of a citizen on his watch. Today, the Punta Gorda police chief says he plans to address some of the many questions people have on the death of Mary Knowlton during a citizen training event. Four in your corners, Malcolm Johnson will be meeting with the chief. In fact, he spoke to him briefly this morning already. Malcolm is live from the department right now. Malcolm, what can you tell us? Hey, good morning, Chris and Miriam. Chris, I can tell you that in just a couple of hours, I'm actually going to be sitting down with the chief of police here at the Punta Gorda Police Department, Tom Lewis. He tells me he'll discuss the investigation into the shooting of Mary. It happened just several weeks ago, and it's still something that is being felt here in this community. 73-year-old Mary Knowlton died after being shot and killed randomly uh, when she was selected for a shoot and don't shoot demonstration at a Citizens Police Academy earlier this month. I also asked Lewis about whether he'll discuss his own job security. As some of our own Fox 4 viewers have stated, things need to be shaken up within the department. He said he would. But our viewers aren't the only ones calling for change within this department, as a local attorney told Fox 4 recently that the chief should step down. He needs to resign, and if he doesn't resign, the city council should fire him. And that's attorney Scott Weinberg that you're hearing from there. He's representing a man suing the department for a previous incident involving the same officer who shot and killed Knowlton. Now, again, the shooting of Knowlton is still under investigation, but Chief Lewis tells me he wants to answer some of the questions that many of this community has and keep them up to date on this investigation.